LED light strips. You either love them or you hate them. Personally, I absolutely love them. I think the glow is fantastic and I've always put them onto my desk. This one I haven't had the chance to up until, well, hopefully today. So we're gonna do a bit of a twist on this one. I typically set them up with a RGB remote that comes with the LED strips. But today I want to use the 5050 plug in my Asus motherboard to try and get an Aura synced. So an Aura sync desk. This desk setup definitely needs a bit of um, a bit of character, so let's put it in. I bought this on Amazon for just under $11 and it seemed to be exactly what we wanted. 50-50 RGB LED strip that covered the width of my desk. That is waterproof. I typically buy waterproof ones for a job such as this because you get diffusion layer. So I open these up off camera and I'll go through what the box contains. So you get your manual. You also get your starting strip where power goes in and your IR receiver will be. You also get your USB power plug and your remote. As you can see, these strips come in multiple sections which you connect together and also come with the extensions between them, which is not what we want. We wanted one continuous strip, which we can just plug them all into one another, but we've lost a lot of length with those. And that brings us to these strips, which we will connect together, which means with the configuration that we'll have, the strip comes to one meter 50 or 59 inches. Typically with a waterproof LED strip, you'll have a silicon overlay that is meant to protect it from water. And what that provides is a diffusion layer for an even lighting and reduces hotspots in the LED, where you can actually see the individual LEDs lit on the object that it's lighting. The only thing that we can do is install it, test it out and see how it looks. But this is something that we'll keep an eye on. So we're not gonna need everything from the kit as we're going to be powering it from our motherboard and controlling it which means that we'll get rid of the power cable. We might use an extension based on our setup, but I do have longer extensions which came with the motherboard. We won't need the remote and we won't need the starter strip. And of course, not the manual. The adhesive on the back of these strips typically isn't very good. So we will grab some 3M automotive tape Stick anything to anything, it's, it's incredible. So let's get to it. Start by opening up your computer. Grab yourself a 50-50 LED extension. Locate where the RGB and power parts of the cable are. Make sure you plug that in correctly to your motherboard. Consult your manual if you don't see it obviously on the motherboard itself. Then make sure the RGB and power values are connected properly on your LED strip to the extension. Plug in your computer and test it. There we go. Looks like it works well. So now we need to route this properly. Remember this will work for any motherboard manufacturer, MSI, ASRock, Gigabyte, Asus. The only requirements are that you have a 50-50 header and you can download the RGB software from your motherboard manufacturer. Make sure to check that it's a 50-50 header for use with this cable and not an addressable RGB header.
So the easiest place for me to route this is by the PCI port on the case, as I have a big cutout and it's close to the bottom of the case, keeping everything neat. Tidy everything up, plug the graphics card back in, and we'll screw everything back together. Now it's time to attach the LED strips to the desk. First measure, then find your closest cut point. Your cut points look like this. Cut along the strip where it shows the scissor marks. Now what we're doing is applying a bit of 3M automotive tape. The adhesive on the back of these RGB LED strips is actually really quite strong it looks like, but typically they're, they're not at all. So I'm going to put some 3M automotive tape on just to make sure it stays up there. Now it's time to plug it in. These extensions actually came in handy as we only need a short connection between the RGB strip and the connector that we have coming out the computer. So again, match the values labeled on the extensions and the RGB strip. Power to power, green to green, red to red, blue to blue. So now everything's booted up and I've downloaded AuraSync. I've already set the LEDs to tech lens pink. The only thing you will notice that the RGB values of the LED strip are off. Orange is tech lens pink. That's fine, we'll stick with that. It fills our need for what we're trying to achieve now. But the nice thing about Aura is that we can do custom effects within the motherboard software. And we can choose maybe breathing, or color cycle, and I think that looks incredible. What I thought earlier about the individual LEDs without the waterproof layer is it's not that bad at all. I don't know if it's just because we're up against the blind, so your mileage may vary, but yeah, I think that's great. Starry Night was also cool just sort of a twinkle every now and again. Let's turn the lights off. So that is the motherboard controlled RGB desk. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, check the description below if you want to find links to any of the products used. Remember this, this will work with Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, ASRock, all motherboards that have a 50-50 RGB header. You just need to download the relevant software for controlling the RGB lights. Links in description below. Also, as always, give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and a thumbs down if you didn't. Consider subscribing. We've got some more great content coming for you soon. Um, and change your notification settings so that YouTube actually notifies you on future videos. And also check out the TechLens website. We've got great tech deals on there for you. And we're also going to have some more content outside of YouTube on there. Um, follow me on social media. All the relevant ones are going to be below. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.